Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back. Today we will discuss catalytic cyclobutene formation reaction. We started the reaction in the last class. After catalytic cyclobutene formation, we will then move on to cyclopropane alcohol synthesis, cyclopropanol synthesis, Kulinokovic reaction that is another very beautiful reaction to form the cyclobutene along with it an alcohol or an amine. Subsequently, we will discuss the Poisson-Khan reaction and briefly we will discuss the mechanism in this class. First then cyclobutene formation and then cyclohexane hydroxide synthesis or cyclohexane amine synthesis. Subsequently, we will move on to the cyclopentenone synthesis by Poisson-Khan reaction. Let us look at the cy catalytic cyclobutene formation. formation. So, the reagent as we were mentioning in the last class that is required for this reaction is alkynyl halide, alkynyl halide will react with dicyclopentadienyl zirconium for example. Dichloride you need a Grignard reagent to get the dicyclopentadienyl zirconium reagent from it that is why the ethyl magnesium bromide you need uh, ideally that you know uh, what is used over here is 3 equivalent THF room temperature and 10 mole percent of this. Uh, gives rise to the cyclobutene species from this reaction. And you can have the variation of it for example, if you have cyclobutene chloride along with an olefin still selectively um, olefins will react with it to give rise to the DGR cyclobutene product without touching the olefin that is associated with this starting material. So, these, these uh, species will remain unreact, uh, unreacted from this synthesis and this is reported by Takahashi, Takahashi Chemcom 1998-1989. Okay. So, that is the page number. So, it is a catalytic cyclobutene formation reaction which is beautifully done by starting from alkynyl halide by reacting with dicyclopentadienyl zirconium unsaturated compound. How did you synthesize dicyclopentadienyl zirconium unsaturated compound? That is by starting with the zirconium dichloride species and reacting with the Grignard reagent such as over here we have taken ethyl magnesium bromide for this purpose. Let us look at the mechanism of this which involves the oxidative cyclization reaction as one would imagine. Let us look at that mechanism of it. Overall we will have the mechanism of the uh, cyclobutene formation. We in the process of course, dicyclopentadiene zirconium uh, the cyclopropane ring will be formed. This is the ethyl uh, magnesium bromide uh, partner that is generating this intermediate. We have let us say R alkynyl chloride and we will get a 5 membered intermediate where dicyclopentadium uh, zirconium is part of the ring. Overall, we then have R and chloride over there and this is the one this ethyl. So, it is a oxidative cyclization between between this olefin and the alkyne overall we will, we will then get a 5 member intermediate from there on uh, this 4 member ring formation happens and zirconium goes 
uh, goes out with the help of ethyl magnesium bromide, right. We do need a cyclopropane ring formation that is the ring formation between this carbon and that carbon and then overall from there on the zirconium chloride and C P 2 reacts and stage stage with it and finally, we do have ethyl magnesium bromide that is used for the reaction uh, participating in this again MgBrCl will go out zirconium alkyl intermediate coming into the picture and uh, from there on we will see uh, that beta abstraction will take place overall to give rise to the final product by beta abstraction to give the cyclopentadienyl zirconium uh, you know three membered ring along with the cyclobutene formation. So, this part will give you the cyclobutene formation. So, this mechanism is as expected on a simpler note where cyclopentadienyl zirconium reagent is giving you the three membered metallocycle species of that is originated from ethyl magnesium bromide which then react with alkenyl halide to give, give rise to the 5 member intermediate rearrangement from there on gives, uh, gives to the intermediate where zirconium chloride and cyclopentadienyl is a substituent on the cyclo, cyclobutene ring that is just formed and from there on another equivalent of ethyl magnesium bromide will uh, give, give to the alkyl substituent on the zirconium where chloride is going out from there on beta abstraction will give rise to the cyclobutene formation and overall you will get back the zirconium um, this uh, three member intermediate zirconium uh, metallocycle intermediate which then can be recycled for the catalytic cycle. So, this is a very simplified mechanism for a cyclobutene formation which is a otherwise very difficult to synthesize by, um, by, uh, by other technique from a readily available starting material. So, this simple cyclobutene formation then um, leads to the variety of product formation where even if you have other olefin associated with the cyclobutene uh, ring still those can be tolerated under the reaction condition which is quite remarkable for oxidative cyclization reaction. Then we will discuss Kulinokovic reaction okay, which is the cyclopropane alcohol synthesis or cyclopropane amine synthesis from a suitable starting material. Let us look at how um, the cyclopropane alcohol or cyclopropane amine can be synthesized even from the simplest starting material for example, ethyl acetate or any ketone and combination any, 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 any ester or amide in combination with the suitable olefin can give rise to the cyclopropane ring along with that hydroxo or amine substituent on it. Let us look at Kulinkovich reaction and after this we will be looking at the Poisson count reaction. So, Kulinkovich reaction ok. It is uh, as I mentioned it is a reaction of an ester and titanium tetraisopropoxide right with two equivalent of ethyl magnesium bromide that will give rise to the cyclopropane ring with titanium titanosin intermediate will be formed and overall you will get the cyclopropanol where this part is reacting with the titanosin reagent to give the cyclopropanol. A variety of different versions are known both stoichiometric and catalytic versions are known. If you are taking an NR2 over here amide, you can have an amine substituted cyclopropane in this case methyl titanium isopropoxide uh, was taken as, as the reagent and for example, uh, you know isopropoxide again was re taken and if you are taking R2 and R3 as the reagent from this we will have uh, 
uh, cyclopropane ring formation with amine substituent with it. For example, over here we can have substituent coming from different substituent coming from the uh, alkyl Grignard reagent. So, this reaction Klinikovic reaction is a powerful technique for synthesizing the cyclopropane ring with alcohol or amine substituent on it. The first formation will be the titanation intermediate where 3 member titanium intermediate will be formed starting with a Grignard reagent. If you for example, it is a, it's a cyclopropane ring formation with titanium in it for the ethyl magnesium bromide or any other Grignard reagent with substituent at the alpha carbon or beta carbon without any problem can be tolerated and these 3 members titanation intermediate then can react with ester or amide to give the alcohol or amine substitution on the cyclopropane ring. Let us look at the mechanism of it which is as you can expect is quite simple by involving the titanium cyclopropane ring formation reactions. Let us look at the mechanism of it. Okay. So, the mechanism as, as you would expect the first step as before it is isopropoxide for reacting with ethyl magnesium bromide to give titanium dialkyl intermediate if you want to go through it RO2. From there on a beta abstraction will set to the ethane okay, and the titanosine intermediate where different RO group can be reacted. From there on a for example, a the ester if we are talking ester can be reacted to give rise to the coordination first of the ester with the titanium intermediate with cyclopropane ring on it and overall then this intermediate can gives rise react with the RO minus that alkoxide that we were using for the titanium this alkoxide can react or attack the titanium uh, to make it RO 3 minus and a 5 member. So, now oxidative cyclization between this 3 member metal cycle and the ketone will take place to give the overall 5 member intermediate giving rise to a species where this ester is attacked by this cyclopropane ring and uh, finally, this will then move on to give you uh, give you overall uh, overall overall this um, intermediate from where formation of the cyclopropane ring can be envisioned very easily. So, this is the intermediate where the cyclopropane ring will be forming. Of course, this lone pair can be coordinated with it. We have OR3 along with it and R prime. From here, the product formation can be uh, can be envisioned. So, overall as you can see it is a titanium intermediate formation with a 3 member cyclopropane like intermediate that is reacting with the ester where ester um, is first coordinated with this titanium intermediate and then oxidative cyclization gives rise to the 5 member intermediate which upon rearrangement of course, the ester leaving group OR will go out upon rearrangement and it can ring close to give to the cyclopropane with substituted with the alcohol substituent as one would see quite easily. Now, this Klinokovic reaction not only can be reactive with, uh, with various with various um, this Grignard reagent partner that can that can be envisioned. Of course, if the cyclometallotitanosine reagent can be exchanged with another olefin that for example, styrene if we are interested in bringing in the styrene, styrene can be reacted with uh, for example, uh, ethyl acetate uh, or any suitable ester to give rise to the cyclopropane ring. So, the two carbons will be coming from styrene double bond and another carbonyl center carbon will be forming the 3 member cyclopropane ring from there and we can also get the corresponding alcohol. So, cyclopropanol synthesis can be uh, can be simplified by this Kulinokovic reaction which is a very powerful technique for synthesizing such compound. Let us look at um, the 
look at the um, styrene example where we will see that styrene is participating in these reactions. So, we will be discussing the example with styrene and ethyl acetate, Kulinokovic reaction continuing, ethyl acetate is reacting with styrene to give rise to the of course, the reaction condition is similar as we have uh, discussed ethyl magnesium bromide titanium isopropoxide 10 mole percent overall for from this Kulinokovic reaction we get an intermediate where uh, we have cyclobutene formation from this and um, you know it methyl is coming from the ethyl acetate um, that methyl and this hydroxy in 42 percent L. Now, this is again starting from a titanium cyclo, uh, cyclopropane like intermediate. Okay. We can then swap with the styrene this olefin can be swapped with the, uh, uh, ty, uh, with the styrene overall then we will have dialkoxide titanium uh, the cyclopropane intermediate where uh, this phenyl is associated with it. Subsequently, we, we can have C, uh, ethyl acetate for example, um, over here will interact with titanium will interact with this first and uh, during the process it will um, it will um, generate the chiral center as uh, as one or one of the diastereomer that would be generated over here and um, this will be up and we can have the OR diisopropoxide intermediate. From there on another al alkoxide uh, will be uh, attacking the titanium overall to give the RO 3 minus just like before and during the uh, during the cyclization uh, th this step that step will proceed with the retention of configuration at the migrating carbon. So, this carbon center during cyclization uh, when it is migrates over there. So, this will go out and this remember will coming in during this uh, during this migration it it occurs with retention of configuration that is quite interesting. So, overall you will see that the diastereomers formations are uh, quite quite interestingly set up by this Kulinokovic reaction published in EJOC 2004. So, 2004 EJOC 4517 is the page number. This is again a beautiful reaction Kulinokovic reaction where we have seen styrene can be participated for example, also with uh, ethyl acetate um, CH 3 CO acyl part is participating into the cyclopropane ring formation with this styrene intermediate where styrene reacting with the uh, acetyl part to give the cyclopropane ring and cyclopropanol formation is happening with retention of configuration at the key bond, bond making step that we were discussing. So, the mechanism for, uh, for these reactions are very simple oxidative cyclization is at the core of these processes where we have seen that metal oxidation state goes up by plus 2 during the oxidative, uh, oxidative process and then cyclization kicks in wherein we, we do see that the prod interesting product can be generated by this technique. Well, now we will move to the next example of the oxidative cyclization process where olefin and alkyne along with carbon monoxide can be participating and giving rise to the beautiful cyclopentenone product formation. These are the name reaction and very famous reaction known as fossil con reaction where olefin and alkyne is participating with carbon monoxide overall to give the 5 member cyclo cyclopentenone uh, formation quite efficiently. The mechanism of these reactions are quite uh, quite simple, but it is quite attractive as well and uh, the application of these reactions are far reaching and many many natural product synthesis has been utilizing this technique or this strategy beautifully over the uh, years or decades I would say. Now, let us look at this Poisson Khan reaction where 3 member uh, intermediate or 3 member reagents or 3 reagents are participating in, uh, in, in the cobalt site to form the final product okay, Poisson Khan reaction. 
So, Poisson Kahn reaction is one of the uh, very widely studied reaction. Okay. Poisson Kahn reaction usually it is an olefin substituted of course, and an alkyne again it can have uh, small group and a big group this is big and this is small overall you will see that reacting with um, di cobalto uh, di cobalt center CO 2 CO 8 of and giving rise to the cyclobutenone product where big substituent is at near the ketone site and the small substituent on the far from the ketone and the R can be uh, at alpha or the beta position. Usually acetylene and terminal alkynes works best okay. that is that is from the alkyne part acetylene and terminal alkyne works best. It is very sensitive to alkene substituent the type of substituent will control the reaction quite a lot. In general tri and tetra substituted alkenes uh, really do not work that very well. Excellent functional group compatibility is seen for this reaction and most commonly it is performed with stoichiometric amount of these uh, cobalto uh, dicobalto um, CO2 CO8. In there are however, many instances where we, uh, we have seen the use of alkyne complex that is CO2, CO6 alkyne complex. So, this, this as you see is a very powerful technique for formation of cyclobutenone right uh, sorry cyclopentenone. Cyclopentenone synthesis can be always very simplified and whenever a cyclobuti, uh, cyclopentenone ring is there or any uh, advanced analog is there that is usually trusted with this natural product synthesis uh, for utilizing this poisson Kahn reaction. It is a reaction between an olefin and an alkyne along with a carbon monoxide to give the 5 member cyclopentenone reaction intermediate. Now, as you have seen olefin can be of different substituting uh, substitution pattern. However, tetra substituted uh, tetra substituted olefin or tri substituted olefins are usually problematic for these cases. It works beautifully for alkynes which are terminal in nature or acetylenic in nature. Otherwise, functional group tolerance is quite high for these reactions and that is a very good news. Usually stoichiometric amount of CO2 CO8 is uh, uh, used for this reaction dicobalto uh, octa carbonyl species are used, but sometimes it is also um, CO2 CO6 alkyne species are used for these processes. Let us look at the mechanism of these processes how olefin and alkyne is put together along with carbon monoxide to give the 5 member um, these organic intermediate which are um, cyclopentenone of in, in nature and we will see the subsequent application of this method in the next classes. Okay. So, Poisson Kahn reaction mechanism we are going to discuss PK reaction let us say Poisson Kahn reaction. Now, usually as we was telling it is the um, although it has excellent functional group compatibility it is very sensitive to alkene substitution in general tri and tetra substituted alkenes do not work that very well. Acetylene and terminal alkynes are the best one let us therefore, take the terminal alkyne one of the terminal alkyne is reacted with the starting material which is used is usually in stoichiometric fashion. We can have CO, CO3 and another cobalt CO3 reagent in another center. Overall we can have this alkyne incorporated interacting with the dicobalt center as is shown and this is both the cobalt centers are interacting with both the carbon centers. So, this cobalt center interacting with this carbon center, this cobalt center is also interacting with this carbon center, uh, there is a bond between them and this cobalt also interacting with that one, this cobalt also interacting with that one. Uh, this is the insertion that controls the regiochemistry, the insertion that we will see right now where one of the carbon monoxide will go out from let us say one of these uh, precises usually the one where the substituent is 
uh, you know far from it. So, the this carbon center is attached with um, uh, attached with both the center, but the substituent which are uh, which are um, having both the carbonyl in tris carbonyl spaces one of the uh, unsaturation is created by leaving the CO and the insertion is controlling the regiochemistry over here. We will see the insertion of olefin let us take, take in olefin here insertion of olefin will take place in a moment where CO, CO 3 and R that this R is coming from the alkyne and this carbon center is associated with it this insertion is occurring over here this is the r prime this is r prime olefin that is uh, that is in, interacting over there we have taken this dicarb di cobalto species for this reaction and overall this is the intermediate where insertion is happening and insertion of the olefin over here uh, gives rise to this intermediate from which alkyl migration and reductive elimination will give rise to the product formation we will uh, draw in the next space. So, what we have seen in this reaction mechanism is alkyne reacting with the dicobalto reagent to give rise to the intermediate which is very efficiently giving rise to the alkyl migration which is controlled by the which is the center where regiochemistry is controlled from where on we will see how uh, the subsequent reactions are going by migration and reductive elimination processes. So, from that intermediate let us try to draw uh, the uh, um, alkyl migration from that previous intermediate alkyl migration uh, happens and it gives rise to the uh, very beautiful intermediate that is leading to the product formation. It is already looking like product now. Uh, that is great news and from there on we will see that uh, subsequent reductive elimination will lead to the product formation here reductive elimination and uh, will, will lead to the we need two equivalent of CO of course, reductive elimination in this step will lead to an intermediate where uh, mono, carbo, uh, mono cobalt intermediate is in, in, inserted into the ring and overall this species then forms subsequently uh, to give the product final product. So, this is then can taken to the cyclobutene uh, product formation that is involved into the process. So, from here CO2, CO7 will go out. In this case what we have in particular seen that an alkyne terminal alkynes in particular we have taken terminal alkyne first reacted with this dicobalt center to form the intermediate which then can incorporate the olefin which insert regioselectively and that is the olefin insertion is the regioselective step from there on alkyl migration onto one of the CO with co cobalt species happens and then subsequent reductive elimination closes the ring to give you the cyclopentenone intermediate. During this process of course, cobalt CO2 CO7 goes out from the species. Overall then this process is quite powerful in putting olefin and alkyne together although all the substituent on the olefin and alkyne cannot be tolerated, but quite a wide variety of disubstituted olefin monosubstituted olefin can be taken along with the alkyne which are limited by the you know acetylene or a you know terminal alkyne mainly these are the ones which is incorporated along with the carbon monoxide to give rise to the cyclopentenone intermediate. So, the steps involved is the incorporation of alkyne, then the migratory insertion of the olefin into the resulting intermediate. From there on the alkyl migration into the carbon monoxide of the one which is associated with the cobalt and from there on reductive elimination closes the ring to give the final product. So, with this we will conclude today's class. In the next class we will continue discussing this Boston Cone reaction and some application of this.
please do keep studying this uh, new reaction that Kulinokovic reaction, poisson khan reaction and also cyclobutene ring formation that we have discussed today. Till then, bye bye.